Um, I'll show you my fridge. It's it's I've got oh, a lot okay. um, I've got a lot of junk food. Okay. Coco's okay. gone through it, so now we have like we have empty jars. I don't know if you can see. See how organized I am. <laughs> wow, this I. I am impressed by the organization, even though there's no food in those jobs. While lockdown orders were in place in LA, much like the rest of the world, Courtney Cox showed off her nearly empty kitchen in an interview with Jimmy Kimmel. Aside from running low on supplies, it was also clear that Courtney is just as organized as Monica Geller in real life. But if you've ever wanted to see more of where the friend star calls home, today we'll take a look at her beautiful Malibu compound, as well as a couple more of her properties. Courtney Cox is an actress, producer, and director who gained worldwide recognition for starring as Monica Geller on the NBC sitcom Friends and as Gail Weathers in one of my favorite horror movie series, Scream. Both of these roles began in the 90s and have carried on Courtney's fame to this day. She starred in other TV and movie roles since, including as Jules Cobb on the ABC sitcom Cougar Town, for which she earned a Golden Globe nomination. Not to mention, Courtney owns the production company Coquette Productions, which was created by Cox and her then-husband David Arquette. She also worked as a director on her sitcom Cougar Town and a couple other films. Courtney and ex-husband David Arquette also have a daughter together, Coco, who spends a lot of time with her mom like we can see on Courtney's Instagram. At the time of this recording, Courtney's net worth is at an estimated $120 million, so I think we can all agree she's already acquired a lifetime of success. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys have requested this one, so today I'm going to show you where friend star Courtney Cox calls home, like her gorgeous main mansion in Malibu, her Los Angeles condo, and more. Hey, since we already did one on Jennifer Aniston, maybe next we should do Lisa Kudrow, aka Phoebe from Friends House Tour. Let me know in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Drew Barrymore and Zoe Saldana, I will link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We'll start with a mega mansion that Courtney used to co-own with her ex-hubby once upon a time. Just months after her divorce with David became official, the ex-couple joined forces to sell their last piece of property together, a multi-million dollar abode in the uber private and high priced gated community of Truesdale Estates in Beverly Hills. And they weren't trying to unload the place for just any price tag, no it would have cost you over 19 million. Back in June 2004, the happy married couple bought the trophy property for about 5.45 million and lived there until they separated. Courtney moved out immediately, while David still used it until it sold. The home had been pocket listed for a while, but since Courtney and Dave didn't get the number they were looking for, they headed to MLS. The home was incredible to say the least, and was designed by famed architect A. Quincy Jones. As I mentioned, it was in the fancy schmancy Truesdale Estates and offered perfect panoramic views. Courtney also had the modern mansion completely restored by renowned architect Cory Buckner in 2006. This single story residence was approximately 5,500 square feet of space, with four bedrooms, additional staff rooms, 5.5 baths, and a detached office. There were also floor to ceiling windows throughout to take in those views, a bi level living room, and although pictures of the interior are slim to none, we know Courtney had a unique circular swimming pool to enjoy on the property too. Just a couple months back, it was reported that Courtney completed an off market sale of one of her adjoining units in the Sierra Towers, a luxury building that borders West Hollywood and Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. Reportedly, Courtney sold the condo in the 31 story high rise for a cool $2.9 million, banking 400k more. More than what she paid for the place back in 2014. As seen in the sale papers, the buyer of the 25th floor apartment is actually Courtney's neighbor, LA socialite Angelique So. Since the unit was never on the market, photos and details are scarce, but records show Courtney's condo spanned 1,300 square feet of space with one bed and two baths and was located on the north side of the building, sporting perfect views of the Hollywood Hills. Courtney continues to own a second unit in the Sierra Towers, this one a two bedroom version right next to the one she just sold, so of course it's bigger as well. 
The Sierra Towers has long been the area's tallest building and remains an iconic example of 1960s minimalist architecture on the outside, though many of the building's current homeowners have updated their units for a more contemporary vibe. Residents here can enjoy amenities like state-of-the-art fitness center, 24-hour security, as well as a concierge, and discreet staff that's familiar with the celeb's desire to avoid attention. It makes sense then that famous folk love the place. While past tenants of Sierra Towers include big names like Sharon Lindsay Lohan, current residents are just as impressive. The list includes Courtney's pal Sandra Bullock, Adam Sandler, Kelly Osbourne, and plenty of millionaires and billionaires. Aside from the condo Courtney still owns here, she previously said she'll never move from what she described as her dream home in Paradise Cove, Malibu, which we'll take a look at next. The famous purple apartment her character Monica inhabited on Friends may have inspired decades of interior design, but it turns out Courtney has serious real life style too. Back in 2017, the actress showed off her gorgeous Malibu compound, doing a photo shoot with One King's Lane that was also featured in Architectural Digest, and it's still the place she lives today. Located in the coveted Paradise Cove area of Malibu Beach, Courtney bought the property over 10 years ago while she was still with ex-husband Dave. They used to own two properties here apparently, but only kept the one, and she got the home designed exactly to her liking. Since Courtney got the home built, details like square footage are hard to find, but we do know that the place is beautiful, modern, and spacious. Courtney explained in her 2017 interview, In June, it would be 8 years since the main house was built, but I've had the whole property for maybe 10 years. This is a house I'll never move from, it really is so special to me. And she's still living here currently. Courtney recently had her home renovated by architect Michael Kovacs and brought some new design to the home. Her style seems to be a mix of mid-century modern and California cool. Her modern Malibu beach house offers a lot of glass, floor-to-ceiling windows, and views to the ocean from most rooms. Of course, her property is also right on the water. The home boasts a gorgeous swimming pool, a tennis court, lava rock fire pit, as well as a pergola-covered terrace, which is perfect to dine outside. There are also guest cottages on the site, and Ed Sheeran previously revealed that Courtney let him live there rent-free when he was working on an album in 2013. Inside, we can see modern and clean vibes, like one of Courtney's sitting rooms with white sofa overlooking the tennis court. Another living room has monochrome colors and a gray sofa with glass sliders to the yard. And elsewhere, another common space has a stone fireplace. Courtney's kitchen is almost all white and bright with stainless steel appliances and vintage bar stools. I've made a lot of steak. I've made a ton of roast chicken. Um, I met this chef in New York, which I'm going to post about later, but he's been Zooming with me and teaching me how to do certain things, and it's been great. The screening house on the property also features a second galley kitchen with restaurant-quality appliances, which is perfect for entertaining. Her home also features an office, a games room with pool table, and a dining room with wood-paneled walls, chandelier, and stone floors. Courtney's master suite has vaulted ceilings and an extra nook to relax, along with a spacious ensuite. The actress has shared plenty of glimpses into her Malibu retreat over quarantine, so we can further see how she settled in over the last couple of years. Courtney's Malibu home is an oasis, so I can see why she would never want to move. After getting the home renovated and redecorated, she seems happier here than ever, and the place looks both cozy and modern. Alright, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this house tour here. What did you guys think about where Courtney Cox calls home? What would you rate her houses? I would rate that Malibu home a 10 because she put so much work into designing it and crafting it to her taste. Not to mention it's right on the ocean. What more could you ask for? I've also recently started an at-home channel where I featured my house tour and much more and we post a video every Sunday. We'll link you my latest video and I would love it if you subscribed. So I also have some other pandemic stuff. Obviously hand sanitizer because we need that anyway so you're not a dirty person. Mask, I usually carry a couple with me but that's the one i wear the most my camo print one thanks for tuning in don't forget to follow me on instagram and let me know whose house tour is next i'll see you all in the next video bye